Hello everyone. It's Maddie Ann Madison. with Spectrum Art. And today we have a fun and very romantic uh, project to share with you. We actually went ahead and worked on this one specifically during a live um, where we had a challenge posted where we needed to go ahead and complete something utilizing the following items. And I'll go ahead and link them down below. Um, as well in the description box if you wanna go ahead and play along. But what we decided to do is, well, we needed to use one cardstock, one piece of cardstock, one page. Uh, we needed to use three sheets of paper, a playing card or an envelope. We chose an envelope, uh, postage stamps, lace, napkin, a photo, ephemera images, and a quote or Bible verses or a sentiment, okay? So let me go ahead and break this down for you guys and you guys can decide if it is that you wanna go ahead and give this a go and, and make one with us. So um, for the cardstock, we went ahead and used um, a paper line from Graphic 45 called um, Love Notes. For the sheets of paper, I'll share with you that we went ahead and used uh, music uh, paper, uh, vintage one, as well as tea dyed paper. For the postage stamps, we went ahead and it just so happened that this collection included postage stamps, so that worked out magically, and that was a coincidence, so I was so happy. Lace, we went ahead and added lace here down at the bottom. Uh, for the napkin, I'll show you what we went ahead and used the napkin. Uh, our photo is right here, which we turned uh, not only to a tuck spot here, but also a pocket up at the top. And uh, for the ephemera images, they're here in the back. And we use a second photo, by the way. And then I'll also show you the quote um, or Bible verse. So let's go ahead. Oh, and here's some ephemera here as well. So let's go ahead and start here with our front. Like I mentioned, we have lace, we have postage stamps, we have a, um, an element that uh, of ephemera. Let me bring up the light that has been, um, we put triple thick on it. So it's like a placard, almost like a hard piece. Um, this is a tuck spot, so we went ahead and made a little tag from the paper line and included it in there. This is the photo, which is so cute. Again, we were thinking Valentine's Day is coming up, so we wanted to do something romantic with this uh, love notes paper. So we put a nice um, couple in there, some uh, vintage lovers, lovebirds. Uh, and so that goes in there. Like I mentioned, we left it open at the top and included some more ephemera in that little pocket. Now on the inside of this, let me pull it all out and I'll show you what we've got. It is a large envelope. I left it this way because I don't plan on decorating this. I'm going to be adhering this or the thought is to be able to adhere this onto a journal right or a book an alter notebook like a composition do i have a composition yes i do a composition notebook i hear it on the inside and now you have this gorgeous pocket inside of a page right um or maybe even in the cover why not right and inside we went ahead and stuffed it with some goodies we made this um the card that actually came in with the envelope we added some vintage piano paper because uh, that's also the background here in this opening. And then on the inside, we went ahead and added some piano paper. So those were my three sheets of paper. These are hand-dyed tea papers that we went ahead and used. Left it pretty blank, although I had a lot of like the little ephemera left from the paper pack that we could have basically have added on here. I left it blank because I wanted it to be a, um, a journal, um, you know, for writing sentiments, posting maybe some pictures, um, Here's a lovely picture that we went ahead and found in our stash. And it was perfect because he's playing the sax, right? So we went ahead and distressed around the edges and on the back. Um, and again, you know, you could add your own pictures uh, on here and journal your sentiments, uh, leave them open, create them into tuck spots. So, but this handsome guy will be in there. And then from the same paper line, uh, we went ahead and used it to make a giant tag coordinating and on the back we went ahead and used our napkin so that's where the napkin came in this is the napkin right here that has been mod podged onto that page which is perfect because we had a napkin that had some musical instruments so that's that one 
And then here's where we went ahead and incorporated our quote, you can change the world. Um, and that's Titus three, four through six. And in the back again, the coordinating paper um, pieces that we had, we went ahead and used those. And then finally, we went ahead and used another ephemera piece image to make it into a bookmark. So it, you know, coordinates with all of this. If you want to add a bookmark in there or anywhere else uh, in the bigger journal that you're going to glue this down to. And uh, in the back, ta-da, surprise, we use piano paper. So it's as simple as that when you're working with your piano paper. Use it as paper. Just incorporate it into anything that you have. So we went ahead and um, made sure that we made good use of that piano paper, isn't it beautiful? By adding it on there. So there you go. We've got cardstock, paper, three sheets of paper, our envelope, our postage stamps, our lace, the napkin, the um, the napkins, the photos, two of them actually, uh, ephemera images all over the place, and our quote on here. So. Without further ado, if you want to go ahead and put one together, let's go ahead and get started. Just get some uh, a paper line that you like, some ephemera pieces to coordinate, some photos. Here's a list again of the items that you're going to go ahead and need in addition to your, you know, your glue, your scissors, your tape if you'd like. Um, for this hole right here, we just went ahead and used um, a large punch, right? Uh, and then, of course, a needle and some thread or your sewing machine if you want to go ahead and stitch um, your booklet. And you'll just need an envelope and your uh, a piece of paper to go ahead and create or a, a card and envelope set would work perfect, right? That's what we got. All right, let's get started. So here's the paper line that we've decided to go ahead and use. It is called Ceremony by Stamperia. And I figure I'd show it to you guys really quick in case this is something that you would like to see and uh, consider. It is a beautiful paper line. Oh, look at that page, huh? has lots of great um, elements to go ahead and work with. Some of them are like wedding related, like save the date, but some are not. I think I love that quote. Every once in a while in the middle of an ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale. Oh, is that romantic for Valentine's Day or what? So I figured this could actually play right into uh, the romantic Valentine's Day theme, but it's also so pretty and shabby and it's got muted colors. It's soft pinks and peaches and greens. Look at all of these journaling cards that we'll be able to incorporate into the envelope. And of course, once uh, we decide it, they're, they're beautiful backs, look at that. Oh, but I might have to actually lose some of those backs because to me, this is not thick enough paper. So I might have to mount them on something. We'll see. Here's some more music notes, right? Like that other one with a beautiful feather. Some more lace. It's kind of hard to get it all in there, but at least you guys will get an idea. Beautiful little tags. Look at that. So I think this is gonna work great for Valentine's Day as well. And then we've got lots of great images here. And I was thinking, I didn't see any stamps on this um, collection, um, like the Graphic 45 did. So I was thinking that we're gonna go ahead and probably grab one of these and just use our scissors and turn it into a stamp. Um, I do have a bag of um, stamps that we recycle whenever we get mail. So I was thinking if I don't find anything in that bag, we can go ahead and use even some of these. Um, it's as simple as cutting this with the stamp scissors, right? Uh, and we'll have a stamp. So let's go ahead and get started again. But I just wanted to show you guys um, the paper line that we will be using.
and here we are. We have a completed loaded envelope. Uh, so we went ahead and used all of our materials. We use our cardstock, which was the Stamperia paper line. We used the three sheets of paper inside of our, and just bear with me because the, um, the um, liquid pearls are still wet, so I don't want to touch them and, and make a boo-boo, but um, we did use the three sheets of paper inside of our uh, little journal booklet. Uh, as far as a playing card we didn't use, but we chose to go with the envelope instead. Of course, that is the base uh, for what we are doing. The postage stamps, we went ahead and used two of those right there. The lace we used on the bottom of the envelope. The napkin, we went ahead and used in two places. We used behind this little piece of ephemera here, uh, which is gonna get tucked into, of course, this right here, um, once this is dried. And we also went ahead and used it on the back of one of our tags right here. So that was completed. We also went ahead and used a photo right here in the front. Uh, the ephemera images, we have several. As I mentioned, we have this one and we have the heart. And then we went ahead and also um, used some of the scrap paper to create a, um, a label. And finally, as far as quotes, we have several, right? We have one on here, which is that once in a while, uh, right in the middle of ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale as well as love is spontaneous and that same quote right in here as well and then here in this journaling card says je t'aime um, i love you and and so we went ahead and uh completed the challenge we have a great pocket which we can also go ahead and load up some additional goodies and finally in this little tuck i went ahead and made a little mini book using the leftovers uh, and some piano paper, as you saw. So, and this will flatten out, of course, over time. Uh, it'll unfurl itself, but then there'll be a cute little um, mini journal in there as well. And so we use piano paper here, and we use piano paper here. So we can definitely include this into the piano rolled challenge. So I'll be sure to use that hashtag. And here we go. We have a pocket full of all kinds of goodies using um, the challenge items. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you will go ahead and give it a try. Let us know, let us know which one you would like. Yeah, let us know. Um, and you now, of course, have um, two completely different ideas. We have this one and we have this one, but they're both using the same thing. So you can see that you can use any paper line um, that you have at hand. So thank you so much for watching. We hope that you guys will join us soon. Yes, have a blessed day. Bye. Bye.